What's popping, fellers? Uh, okay, so we got a heck of a day planned today. Not really, it's pretty simple, but I got these two reels right here. I gotta run into West Marine real quick, and then I'm gonna get them spooled because I could do it myself, you're right. But this reel right here, they're stuck. This one right here has been a pain in my butt, and it always throws wind knots. And I think it's because it's like either volcanoing shape or if it's like a mountain i'm getting a phone call give me a second okay we're all good i was talking to old nikki sir all righty so now what i was saying about this reel is sometimes like the line doesn't sit on it properly pretty much so when i go to cast it it over throws itself pretty much and causes wind knots so i'm gonna see if maybe a machine spooling it will do better if it doesn't this thing right here someone can just have it or i'm gonna throw it in the ocean one or the other so we're gonna go get it spooled so i'm gonna do real why i know some magic right watch this some cringy vlog vlog cringy vlog magic that's the word right watch this i'm gonna hit the camera with these and then they're just gonna have line on them you ready oh just kidding not doing any vlog magic i actually left the reels with them i'm gonna go grab some lunch pick up the fish tank actually and then come back grab the reels and then we'll go get everything for this tank and i'll explain a little bit more but i do want to show you and point out if you guys do know me in real life like if any of you guys watching actually know me know me or know a little more about me than the normal person i guess i actually used to work at a movie theater from high school all the way up until i went to actually move up to nebraska to work for flair and that movie theater is right there that little hump thing right there that who the sorry that was a little that was a little excessive but that is the movie theater i actually used to work at so that's a little fun fact of the day so let's go grab some lunch grab the tank and then i'll show you guys these reels let's go do that yeah oh my goodness look at those delicious french fries oh my goodness if you don't like chick-fil-a french fries just get out of here you know what i'm saying so we got some chick-fil-a boys got me a nice sandwich some fries a nice little Oh, sweet tea, you know? So we're gonna go pick up the old fish tank and then go pick up the reels, then go actually do what this video is about, which is a natural beach aquarium. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get sand and water, maybe rock, I'm not too sure yet, because I kind of want a specific type of rock in there. So we're gonna kind of play that by ear, but sand and rock are coming from the beach. So that will, I don't know how that's gonna work, guys. It may either stop the cycling process where I can just put fish in right away. I'm still gonna let it cycle, but it's gonna have every piece of bacteria that it needs. So it'll be very interesting to see how this works, but I'm gonna bring you guys along. I've never really looked into this to see if anyone's done it. So we're gonna hope for the best. Hopefully this works, doesn't cause like a crazy algae outbreak in the tank or anything like that. And we shall see. So I'll see you guys once I get the tank. Hey, oh baby girls, we made it. I don't know how bright I am, but I think I'm dark in here, but I will show you, I got the, uh, I got the reels. I don't know if we can see it. Let's see. Oh yeah, you guys can see it. It's not really in focus, but you guys can see it. So we got the reels and I got the tank right here. I will show you guys this when we get home, but right now I'm gonna pull up the radar real quick. I just ran from rain. Like you can see the side of my truck right here is wet. Yeah, I just ran from rain because this is about to get real nasty here in a second. Like it's literally right on top of me. So right here, I'm gonna show you guys kind of where I'm at. And uh, this is real bad. It won't focus. But either way, you see the red is coming onto me, that little blue dot. That's going to be real bad here in like five minutes. So I'm going to run out there, grab the water, grab the sand, grab everything real quick. And then we can go up over everything when we get home at the house. I have rock at the house. I have all that stuff. We can plug the tank in, see it. And I can give you guys my thoughts on the tank. I already have some ideas of what I want to do to it. Probably won't use the light that it comes with, all that kind of stuff. We will get into that when we get home. I'm going to run out there really, really quick so I don't get wet. And I will see you guys back at the house. Uh, classic YouTuber face pump. Uh, yes, right? All right. And we're back home. I had to change complete outfits because I got soaked at the beach. It was very rough. I was getting splashed, black, but you get the idea. But I did get two things of water and some sand. We can see the sand. I also got some little shells in there. Maybe we can get some little shells, design a little something, something. So I got all that. And then here is the tank right here. So it is a 13 and a half gallon little nano tank. So as you can see, this is kind of how the picture has it set up, bunch of little corals and different stuff. Obviously this is probably not very accurate. You probably can't have this many things in here, but we're gonna try our best to see what we can do with this tank. So I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna check it all out and see what we can do with it. Okay, let's uh, move that out of the way. Let's show this tank off. Look at that. So this is it. I don't know how much you guys can 
But like my head fits in it. So like you can tell it's kind of big. It's on the bigger side. And I wouldn't call it necessarily a nano nano tank, but it will do the job for what we need. So that's kind of the idea of what it looks like. I don't even know how well you guys can see this, but I'm going to put it where I want it to be. And then uh, for now, at least this is where it's going to go. And then I'll end up moving into a different spot. But for right now, I'm going to put it on my desk next to my little, all my computer and everything, stuff like that. Hopefully it doesn't leak. So I'm going to get it set up up there and let's see what it looks like. And voila, this is where it's going to be. Hang on a second. Never mind. So this is where it's going to be right here. I'm gonna, like my computer's right here. So if this thing leaks, everything's screwed. But I didn't also know that this actually is elevated a little bit. So that's kind of neat. That's pretty cool. But the idea behind this tank, all right, you ready for this, guys? We're going to go out and actually catch, I'm going to say 90% of the stuff that goes in this tank. So I'm going to put rock in here and stuff like that that I personally have. The beach, the ocean is all going in here pretty much. Then we're going to go search uh, different places for actual small fish. So if it's offshore, I'll go dive and I'll pick them up and scoop them and put them in here. Or there's a place where little tide pools happen and maybe we can go like just scoop them out of there. I think this is going to be a really, really cool, fun tank for you guys and for me. So if you have any ideas on what you want in this tank, please let me know and we will gladly make that happen. So I'm going to go ahead, give you guys a time lapse of me kind of just sculpting it and putting this tank together. And I will show you guys the finished product when it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. That is unreal. This actually came out really, really good. I don't know why it's not focusing on certain stuff, but I got some shells there. Nice little caves in and out. I'll put another shell there. I'll show you it from this side. Actually, I haven't even seen it from this side. Look at that. It's right down the middle of the rock so the fish can swim all the way around either way. And I put a little hole here so they literally can do a full 360. And it also helps the flow go around in a circle a little bit too. I don't know if I'm going to need a little miniature flow maker for this little thing. I guess we're going to wait and find out. A lot of air bubbles still in the sand here. I don't know if you see these little black dots. That is all air, actually. So I'm going to have to wait for all those to come out and stuff like that. Plus, once you put fish in here, they'll root it all around, move it all around, do stuff like that. But this thing actually is really, really cool if you guys are interested in getting something like this. So the natural beach sand actually worked out great. It's not that cloudy. Honestly, to the human eye, it's not that cloudy. To the camera, a little different. But this light isn't horrible. Uh, I was kind of hearing mixed reviews on the light, so I was kind of deciding on if it's uh, worth it or not. But we're going to let this thing filter for a couple days or two uh, and then kind of revisit it again, make sure it's all clear, everything's good. Then I'm going to try and add some crabs and then some snails and stuff like that to get a little bit of a cycle going. But I don't think I'm going to have to wait too, too long for this. So let me actually look at the light here. So that's the blue. That's the nighttime. It actually looks pretty cool. Then you tap it again. Boom. Off. Tap it on. Off and blue. Those are your options. You got a nighttime, daytime kind of deal. But uh, this thing is actually really, really cool. And then all the filtration is all back here. As you can see everything. So this is your going back into the tank. This is overflowing from the tank, goes through the filter media, then comes here and then goes back out kind of thing. So this thing actually turned out really, really cool. I'm really glad it worked out this way. So kind of just going to be a waiting game to see how it eventually goes and turns out. But like I said before, if you guys want any type of fish in this, I already have some ideas going. So don't you guys, don't, don't you, you guys don't worry. That's it. Yep. I'm working on English still. I know I'm not the best at it. Some of you guys are probably not even from America and better at English than I am. So that's sick. So that is all I really got for you guys today. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of fish or what I should do with this tank. So I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.